good? What's good? This your boy AJ of the Deep Thought. I'm back at it again, once again, with my homeboy, Young A Beast, man. We just finna do a little sports talk to y'all for the day. You already know. You can go and introduce yourself, my boy. Well, you already know they call me Young A Beats, Mr. Ooh Young, as they call it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Enough with me. You know, I may be some whatever. You know, y'all can look me up, whatever, SoundCloud, all that other stuff. But Right, right, right. right. I want to get into this topic right now because it is just unbelievable because – the, the way the NBA is moving this year, bro, is is it's going to be crazy. I, yeah. I promise you. It's a trip. <laughs> Man, I, it's going to be a crazy year. And I and I pray to God LeBron does something because all that power on the West Coast, you now have Damian Lillard going to the Milwaukee Bucks, joining forces <laughs> with the Greek Freak. And <sighs> – Man. They traded there. They traded Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, T, what's his name? Tumani Camara, Milwaukee, yeah, uh-huh. 29, unprotected first round draft pick mm-hmm. and an unprotected Milwaukee swap <sighs> for 2028 20, and 2030. So, right. how, how do you feel about it before we get to this video? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Man, on the real for real, I was not expecting none of that. I thought after the heat shit fell out, I thought they were just going to keep him where he at and figure it out before the season or whatever. I wasn't expecting this. Then the, then DeAndre Aiden gone too. I'm like, God damn, they got really, really almost the best player they got. In mm-hmm. fifth, in, <laughs> like, God damn, that, that was crazy for me. I wasn't expecting none of that. And True. Drew Holiday gone, like God, Lee, that's crazy. But at the same time, you got to think about it. Giannis was talking over the course of the summer, talking about you know he's probably going to go up for the trade if they're not going to try and keep him happy. Right, so right, what right. the front office did, they came and said, you know what, we're going to give up three players, a first round draft pick, two unprotected. An uh, unprotected first round and an unprotect, uh, unprotected uh, swap. So, you know, whatever they do to keep their players happy, you know, Giannis has that big contract. They gave um, Gian- they gave Damian Lillard three-team deal. I don't know how much. Everybody's saying, well, like four, uh, 54.8, I think. Mm. But, you know, for these next three years, man, I don't know. We may, we may see greatness this year. Yeah, I'm gonna say things looking good though. I thought the only thing I can say it does look good. So I'm gonna go and get to the video for folks y'all don't know. Damian Lillard has been traded in a three team deal to the Bucks. So we're gonna check this video out real quick and we'll get back to it. Let's go. We're following breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ from the NBA. The Trailblazers have traded Damian Lillard to the Bucks as part of a three team blockbuster with the Suns. Our NBA insider Bill Ryder reports. Portland receives Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, an unprotected first-round pick in 2019, and swap rights for multiple reports. While Phoenix lands four players, including Grayson Allen and Yusuf Nurkic. Now, Dane's move to Milwaukee comes as a big surprise. Lillard had repeatedly made it clear he wanted to be traded to Miami. But Portland didn't like the Heat's offer, leading to a months-long standoff. Now he joins Giannis with the Bucks, making them instant favorites in the Eastern Conference and to win an NBA title. As you look at the full trade details, a three-team swap for Lillard, who now heads to Milwaukee. All right, let's welcome in NBA writer Bill Ryder, who joins us from the palatious uh, Newark airport here to discuss this trade. Uh, Bill, uh, the first thing I'll ask you is how surprised are you that that now Lillard going to Milwaukee? It's a shocker, Jeremy, because I I certainly had not spoken to anybody around the NBA who had had mentioned this as a possibility and people around the league like like to gossip. But if something could be shocking and and, and intuitive at the same time, it, it makes sense. Milwaukee's an organization. John Horse is a GM who is under massive pressure to make sure Giannis Antetokounmpo stays happy, that they win this upcoming year, that it's not Giannis a summer from now. We're talking about the way we have nonstop Damian Lillard. 
So there's no doubt that, that I did not see this coming, and the folks that I've talked to in the last 20 minutes did not see this coming. It's a bit of a surprise, but it does fit the model of a team that wouldn't be the Miami Heat, and that is an organization under pressure, trying to get, keep a superstar happy in a market. Yeah, and I feel like, um, shoot, when it comes to the Heat, my team, my personal team, I feel like this kind of put us under a spotlight now. Uh, because we kind of maybe I don't know maybe that's just me thinking that way maybe that's just my mind but I just feel like you know since everything didn't go how it's supposed to go and now Gondis got more firepower he got hell the best score in the fucking league in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> what Gondis can't do at this point like <laughs> they can make. They're gonna make a run. I ain't worried about that. They're gonna make a run, but then again, when you get to Los Angeles, you do have to come see the yeah. king. Yeah. You will have to see the king, and yeah. you will have to see the Clippers. You will have to see Golden State, and we already know how that's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I already know starting off. Damian Lillard is going to be coming off the bench scoring what 30 points. I don't think I don't see him coming off the bench just going off right then and there because right, he wants right. to get used to the team. He wants to learn how everybody moves. So he's going to be watching from afar, but still he's going to be putting his two cents within the game. But other than that, Giannis, you know, he's going to do what he do. He's going to be in the paint. He going to run. He going to dunk it. He He's just like a modern-day Shaq. Yeah, yeah, it's facts right there, yeah. Like I said, I, I like to see how it's going to play out, though. I like to see how it's going to play out, especially, you know, like I said, the West, they still, they got that, you know. Can't forget about the champions. They still the comp. They still the competition, they regardless of whoever. <laughs> they still the comp. <laughs> Man. I just – I everybody who's on the West Coast right now, how do you guys feel about having the strongest teams on the West Coast? You have the Los Angeles Lakers. You have the Clippers. You have the Golden State Warriors. And now coming in, you have the Milwaukee Bucks. And Phoenix Suns. I mean, you got Katie over there with Devin Booker and all of that, you know. So, I don't know, man. It's going to be a good, good year for the NBA when it comes to oh, competition yeah. on the West Coast. So, oh, yeah. oh, it's, yeah. it's going to be live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I'm going to go and finish the rest of this video, and then we can go and wrap it up. Well, I'm going to let it run a little bit longer, but we'll, let's go back to it that can win now but probably can't win and or most likely will have trouble winning if they lose the pieces they already have all right so in terms of what he adds to this team what does he bring to milwaukee in terms of what they gave up to get him it, like i love i love it for, for both sides and i, and I think for, for the milwaukee bucks first and foremost you're adding a superstar with the second best or the best or the third best player in the NBA in, in, in Giannis. Look, Drew Holiday's still there. Chris Middleton's still there. This is still a team, if they're healthy enough, that have a window right now to compete in the Eastern Conference before you had Damon Lillard. Lillard is obviously a prolific scorer who can go out and get buckets on his own. That takes a lot of pressure off of Giannis. And one of the things teams would try to do, Jeremy, is just make Giannis shoot, right? Try to take away the middle of the paint. Don't allow him to facilitate. Make other guys beat you. And, and as good as the players around him are, they weren't that level of star. And there, there were times where maybe that Bucks offense would stall a little bit. He can just give the rock to Damian Lillard. Good luck stopping that guy and stopping Giannis. So it's a great fit for Milwaukee. And I think they are instant, not just contenders. They were that. I think they're instant favorites if everybody's healthy in the Eastern Conference now. Yeah, taking a look at the uh, FanDuel lot. I mean, just for the NBA title, uh, their odds shot up to plus 380 this afternoon after uh, news of that trade that came through. What about uh, as we look at the odds uh, for the NBA Finals? Now down to 360. We get back to the odds. They got the odds of winning the NBA Finals. Well, they got the Bucks, Nuggets, Celtics, Suns, Lakers, Washington Warriors. They got the Grizzlies at plus 3,000. God damn. <laughs> then the Heat at the bottom. <laughs> 
We we ain't we ain't ready, bro. We ain't ready yet. We even though we got John Morant, we, we ain't ready yet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I I, I hate that for Grizzlies. I really do. I, I, <laughs> I really do. Hey, blame, like I said, uh, it, it's what's his name? Dylan. Blame Dylan. Blame him. Dylan Brooks. <laughs> blame him. If you want to, you want to come at the king and act. No, nah, you can't do that. You can't do that. Look where you at now. Look where you at now. You don't even want to be there. I know. It's okay. No, he he, he just there. <laughs> it's okay. Oh yeah, but yeah, man. Like I said, I, I, I man, it, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good NBA season when it comes up, though. It's gonna be a good season. Who you got winning the NBA Finals? Forget the odds. Who do you have? <sighs> Damn, that that's a good question. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really have no odds at the moment, but to be all the way honest, since the Nuggets. Is the they the top? They 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 the king of the hill. I got them at least going there to win. You got the Joker going back in it again for another chip. Okay, I see. That, it. I, like like cause cause like after after last season. Oh yeah. Ain't no way in hell I see anyone stopping him. Like oh, I, yeah. I'm just gonna be honest. I ain't seen nobody stopping him. At like for real, but that don't mean nothing can't change. I'm just saying, as of right now, the Nuggets got it. Like they, they, they can make another run for it. If every, I just want to see everybody healthy because I already right. know everybody's not going to play as serious during the season, mm-hmm. midway through the season being over with, getting ready for the playoffs. Then that's when everybody's going to turn it on the jet. So I'm, right. I'm excited for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. True that. True that. So, all righty then. If that ain't nothing else, I'm going to go on and wrap it up from here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me, tell us how y'all feel about the whole Damian Little situation, him getting traded to Milwaukee from Portland. It's damn time. <laughs> right. It's damn time. <laughs> it's damn time. Right. Right. It's damn right. time. Right. It's damn time. <laughs> Look. Just go ahead, give him the trophy now. We 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 ain't gotta do it, bro. Yeah, we ain't tripping on it. <laughs> we, ain't tripping on it. we can go and let them get through the finals now, and we can just go ahead into another season. Let's go ahead and get over with it. Right. <laughs> so yes, sir, man. We at the end of the video, man. I appreciate y'all for checking us out. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to my special host, Young ABs, for check being with me today. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, it's all love. It's always love. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, keep supporting deep thoughts, man. It's going to be bigger than what you see it now. It's going to, trust me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, my brother. I'll see me in the next video, man. Peace and one love.